Hi, I'm Marcus and I'm going to cook for you my beef and mushroom burgers stuffed with black pepper boursin and homemade skinny chips. So first thing we're going to do is grab our beef mins. We've got about 500 grams here and we're going to add that straight into our blender. And then we're going to grab our other ingredients. So we've got some mushrooms going in next. And then a little bit of garlic, about one clove of garlic in there, half an onion. And then I've got a rasher of smoked bacon. That just helps bring a little bit more flavour into here. Get some lovely fresh thyme. About a tablespoon of the sort of leaves. So I'm just going to break some of those up and add them straight into the top. So we've got some Worcestershire sauce. Pour that in. And then about a teaspoon of English mustard and a teaspoon of Dijon. And then we're going to get our lid on here and just give these a blitz together. Just take the lid off, give it a little stir around. Just get a little bit of seasoning in, so we've got some salt going in. And a little bit of pepper too. And then back on with the lid and let's blitz those up just to the finishing bit. Perfect, and you can see in there now that's all, everything mixed together. So that's all ready, so we're just gonna set that aside now for until later. Okay, so let's get started with our skinny chips. Now, I've got my potatoes and I've peeled those ready, and then we're gonna take the slices and we're gonna do them as thick as we need them for our skinny chips, okay? Turn them round and just have them, and I'm just gonna drop these straight into nice little chip sized pieces. I'm gonna pop those in water, get all of those finished. So we're just gonna drain the chips, and we need to remove all that excess water out of them and that's basically removing all the starch, so make sure you rinse them under the tap first of all. If there's too much starch, they just won't crisp up. Now we need to get these into our first batch, so we're going to do the first cooking method, which is to cook them at 130 degrees in some oil. So making sure we don't get any water near the oil, I'm just going to carefully drop them into our oil. And just make sure you keep an eye on the temperature on this one, so we want to keep it around 130, we don't want it too high. We're going to go on to building our burgers, so let's get our mince. Now, what I'm going to do is just to literally, the easiest way of sort of measuring these out is just to grab a bit of your mince. And if you've got yourself a nice pastry cutter, we're just going to put that inside, inside the pastry cutter. And that just gives you a nice burger shape. And we're just going to push it right down to the edges so it goes right to the edge. So now you can see you've got a nice shape on the burger, just like that. Okay, so let's grab our black pepper borsa. And we need exactly that amount to go inside a burger. So I'm just going to pop one there. And all we're going to do literally is just to bind this burger round and then I'm going to pop it back into the ring and just gently push that down. Lift that off. Perfect. So the burgers are all ready to go so we're going to get our chips out now because they'll be done. I'm just going to double check just by bringing one up and just having a little pinch in the centre and you can see it's soft so when I pinch it there it's not hard. So I'm just going to take those out and drain them. And then what we need to do now is to heat this oil up to an even higher temperature to be able to finish them off and get them nice and crispy. Okay, so the burgers are all shaped ready, so we've just got to cook them off. Now I tend to use a griddle pan because you get that lovely smoky flavour and you want it really, really hot. So what I've done is I've just preheated this pan, a little dash of oil, and then we're going to grab our burgers and just lower them into our pan. So We're going to cook these for around about two to three minutes each side. Now I'm just going to check the temperature of the oil. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm just going to get my chips. I'm just going to lower them back into the oil again have a little peek at our burgers to see how they're doing. Perfect. Now you can see in here as well, look, the chips are almost done. Straight into our kitchen roll again. And I'm just going to give those a little shake just to remove any of the excess fat and I'm going to let them dry. The last little thing on these, we're going to add a little bit of salt just to help draw out that last little bit of moisture. Let's have another little look on our burgers. Uh, yeah, they're toasting nicely. So we're just going to get our buns ready. And all I'm going to do is just slice these across, open them up. Those are both done now, so we're going to take them out. Just pop them on the edge here. They smell fantastic. So we're going to start building our burgers. So I've got a little bit of tomato and some gherkin here. Just going to start popping that onto my base. little gherkins on top. And 
and there you have it, my fantastic beef and mushroom burgers stuffed with black pepper boursin and homemade skinny chips. For more delicious recipes, visit boursin.co.uk.